Okay guys, this is a really quick video. I want to show you how I play um, patterns and breakouts. I do not long, if, if we broke above resistance, I would not long that. If we break below uh, support, I would not short that. I think that is risky. I'm going to show you why this is the case. If you watched the last video, I was talking about this pattern we're in. Uh, support, resistance, support, resistance. Notice that we broke below this point, which I said if we did break below this point, your next support was down here, this this line below. And that did play out, and you could have played this, and it would have been a successful trade. But again, I find that very risky. You should have been short from right here all the way down. So if this did end up being a fake out and push back up, well, you're in, you've got a good entry point, so it's okay. And I'll, I'll go into this. But again, you can also use indices for direction. So in this last video, I was talking about this pattern, but I was also talking about the Dow Jones have potentially topped out. You remember, Bitcoin follows indices. Indices up, Bitcoin up, indices down, Bitcoin down. So since I expected the Dow Jones to have some downside, it was likely we break to the downside from this pattern. Your next support was this line below, uh, 28,810. And you can see the Dow Jones, again, I told you this, this orange ring was going to be a top for the Dow. You can see we've already dropped a total of around 4% from this point. And you can see we broke down from this pattern right here. Support, resistance, support, resistance. We broke to the downside to that next line I was talking about in a previous video. So currently, you can see we're in this pattern right now. This is our resistance, and this is our support. And this is what I was talking about. Had you, had you uh, traded or, or shorted when we broke support, look what happened. We pushed right back up. That would be a fake out. You got stopped out and you lost money. So there's, there's two ways to play this, all right? You could do nothing and you could wait until we push up. We know if we push up your next resistance above, very strong resistance is 29,666. So wait until we have either break to the upside or the downside. If we break to the upside, we're going on a heavy short at 29,666 around that area. Or if we break to the downside, if we break below support, go in on a heavy long at 28,041. We know this is our next support level. We know that this is our next resistance level. So you could just wait. Again, always wait for the trade to come to me. The other way to play this, if, if it's possible we break to the downside, so, you know, depending when, but if you, if you short it right when you make contact, that is a safer entry. Because if we continue down, and it breaks below this point, right? Well, you know your target is potentially here. Since your entry was above around 29,215, if it, if it does come down, it's a fake out and pushes back up, well, that's fine. You got a good entry point. Same thing if you were longing. You would not long right here because it could just as easy as easily come back down to support. So what you would do is you would short this point, but if you come down to support 28,830, you would long this point with a stop below. If it pushes back up, you know, raise your stop so you break even or you're in profit. And if it breaks above this point, well, this is a point you would short. So again, that's, that's why I only long support and short resistance. If you long when we break above this point, that's the coffee maker guy, sorry. If you long above this point, it could easily come back down and stop you out. So I'm just showing you how I trade. But either way, if we do break above this point, the next point to put in a short is 29,666. And if you break below this point, your next point to long is around 28,041. So guys, I hope that kind of shows you how I trade. And remember guys, for direction, uh, the Dow Jones was down around 380 points. Now it's at 274. So if you start seeing the Dow push closer to zero or in the green, then likely we're probably going to break to the upside. If you start seeing the Dow drop more, down negative 500, negative 700, then chances are we're probably going to break to the downside. Either way, this is where I'm a chance to short at 26, uh, 29,066. And if we come down to support, this is where I'll chance to long around 28,041. That's it, guys. If you want to access these charts, the website's autorecredit.com. Links pinned to first comment description. You should have a big affiliate link. It's also pinned to first comment description as well. That's it. Trade safe, trade smart. I'm out. Peace.